is a statistic that won't actually make you laugh. Britain is on track to become the fattest country in Europe within a decade. The World Health Organization blames food delivery companies like Deliveroo and Just Eat. Their report says the popularity of the apps during lockdown is fueling our record obesity rates. Currently, nearly a third of us are obese, but that's expected to rise to nearly one in four, with some of our favourite takeaways like pizzas and curry having almost 2,000 calories in them, is Uber Eats making us uber obese. Isabel. Yeah, definitely part of the problem. Am I allowed to admit here I'm probably the only one around the table that has never actually tried Uber Eats, Deliveroo, any of wow. those kind of things? I just don't like the whole concept of it. How hard can it be, guys, to just go downstairs, walk out, go to a restaurant? Because the only places these services are available are places where there are nearby places to eat. And I think we've got to stop pussyfooting around this issue of obesity. It's time to make being fat a lot less socially acceptable. I got into a lot of trouble a few months ago for criticising the so-called body positivity movement. But I really think that that is a legitimate concern. The way that we are now saying, actually, hey, it's OK to be size 16. No, it's not. It's really unhealthy. And we've got to start being much more blunt about this stuff. I think I, I know plenty of size 16 women who are also healthy and would be a size 16 because they're actually muscular. What would you I, say to women I like that? I don't think that that would be the case, actually. I mean, if you can present me a size 16 woman who is not... Uh, <laughs> JJ's probably a size 16 a, woman. He's not <laughs> a woman. He's, he's probably around, around about a size 16. <laughs> Look, I, I'm an avid... Deliveroo user, I'll yeah. use it at, at any opportunity when you, you get home and it's a little mm. bit too late or you are feeling a little bit lazy. But I tell you what I am always shocked by is on some of the, the restaurants where they do actually give you what the calorie intake because they, they have to do mm. that now. I'm surprised that this one meal actually would take you over your, your calorie intake or whatever nutrient intake that you're supposed to have for that day. And so I think there's actually a bit of shared responsibility there. Obviously, if you're having takeout three times a day, you should probably stop doing that. But at the same time, surely companies like Deliveroo shouldn't be advertising as a one-person meal a meal that could actually last you for a day or so. And they certainly shouldn't be encouraging you to buy three or four meals to give you a little discount, because yeah. you know what it's like. You're hungry. You yeah, think, yeah. oh, if I, if I spend that extra fiver, yeah. it'll be cheaper or I'll get free delivery. And I so always go As the it. only person at the table with a gastric bypass, you see, I don't know mm. quite uh, really? how to fit. Yes, really. I don't know how oh. to fit in. I mean, I used to be, I think, the second most famous fat person in the country after Dawn French. And that was for <laughs> years and years. I was once described in, I think, one of your memorable papers as, as the woman who ate her audience. So, you know, I have, I have struggled and lost oh. the battle of the bulge throughout my life. Um, and it was way before Deliveroo, and it was way before any of those facilities. And, and I think the thing that's never taken into account in these discussions is that most people who are overweight mm. don't eat too much because they don't know <clears throat> what they should be eating and what they shouldn't be eating. They do it for vastly emotional reasons. You know, they isn't... eat for comfort, they eat when they're sad, eat when they're happy, they eat when they're sociable, they eat when there's nothing to do, they eat because <laughs> it's something to do. You know, it's nothing to do with calories, it's nothing to do with being actually hungry. Yeah. It fills this deep kind of emotional need, the association of food and comfort, food and pleasure, mm. food and joy, food and all sorts of good stuff. You know, it's a big, big thing and I think that's why no progress at all has been made in reversing the tide of obesity because it's not about delivery and it's it's not about eating too many calories. Sure. It's about all the stuff that people can never manage to address. But isn't there's an extraordinary thing here, and I can't believe you've never used Deliveroo. Who doesn't like a bit of chicken I, kept warm I on the back of a man's moped? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, goodness me, this is oh. this is quality yeah, stuff. Nice cold big now man. I'm, doing <laughs> I'm telling you, tonight. you know, the, I mean, the, fri the Colonel Sanders <laughs> should have been canonised, frankly. I mean, the man is, was a genius. Delicious. However, what is interesting about the obesity thing is that it also chimes with an era where we've never had so much or more information about being healthy, which is a curious sort of juxtaposition. Yeah, I know, or a but the celery like. doesn't call to you from the fridge. It doesn't <laughs> say, Vanessa, come and eat me, but the minstrels in the glove compartment of the car at two in the morning yeah. do call. They call my name so loudly. What am I meant to do? They well, call. It's really rude to ignore it. Hello, guys. My name's JJ, and I'm addicted to using Uber Eats. Yeah. Okay? Uh... But I'm not overweight, because I like to exercise as well, and that is it. It's not Uber Eats or Deliveroo or any of those uh, places that are the problem. Yeah. It's that people are too greedy and they don't want to do enough exercise. Mm. That is the long and short of it. And 
as Vanessa said, of course, it comes from an emotional place. But I don't expect delivery drivers to come along with uh, a therapist to help me uh, <laughs> <laughs> to, to, to sort those issues out, you know? No, that's another business, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, like, like Joe Wicks delivering yeah. your, uh, your food. <laughs> He's got quite lots, hasn't he? Well, yeah. I tell you.